Hello racing fans and welcome to race day preview for Monday the 8th of July 2024 Monday racing and chat come tomorrow afternoon please make note the post time is 12 30 p.m 12 30 p.m the post time for the first then please remember like share and subscribe to this YouTube channel ERB TV and please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped, you will be notified. And please remember to like and share this YouTube channel, Yard B TV. Please remember now to press the notification bell so whenever the content is up, you will be notified. This is Race Day Preview. I am Anthony Johnson. Welcome back to Race Day Preview. The first event, we say the post time is 12.30 p.m. is restricted allowance four for native bread, four year well and up, none is of three, and imported four year well and up, none is of two, and we have nine taking part. They go nine furlongs and 25 yards or 1,820 meters. Number one, natural dancer possesses tactical speed and could be the controlling speed in this lineup. Remember, the nine furlongs and 25 yards is sprinter's paradise. So natural dancer with Concha Francis in the saddle could be a dangerous contender come tomorrow afternoon. Number two, easy peasy, not fancy there. Number three, Princess Talisi, love the strip here, yeah, up in grade. I will think this horse might be in need of more run to get acclimatized to the space of this class. Wayne's Princess, somewhat of a disappointment. I think we'll find nine furlongs and 25 yards out of our jurisdiction. Mace Linton, number five, is very fit just now. Showing a clinker and last, not fancy there. Number six, Mr. Senator, will enjoy every inch of this gallop here. Radish Roman is in the irons. Keep Mr. Senator on the right side. Number seven, Empress Link, will enjoy the nine furlongs, 25 yards. Please make note, the visor is on here. Empress Link will have a fighting chance. A dangerous outsider come tomorrow afternoon. Number nine, she's my edge fund. The horse, I think they will all have to beat here. Second, by two and three a uh, two and a quarter length over seven and a half furlongs has been run into these and form Tevin Foster and I am she's my head fund is my idea of the winner and I'm taking number nine she's my edge fund to get the better of number six Mr. Senator number one the dangerous natural dancer and number seven Empress Link the winner should come from that quartet the second event they go seven furlongs for three year old and up, one million to eight hundred thousand claiming, and we have six the clear. Number one, life is life, will have it difficult against these. Number two, Regal and Royal has been working very well, and we have to keep Regal and Royal on the right side. Shane Canterman Ellis is in the irons. Atomic Energy Broker Maiden will have it difficult against these. Number four, Burn notice here, yeah, very fit just now, has been working very well for this race. We see on Saturday, the 22nd of the sixth, gallop five furlongs in one minute, one and three fifth of a second. Came back the next Saturday, gallop five and a half furlongs in one minute, eight and three fifth, the first five in one minute, two and four fifth. On score of fitness, burn notice will be very difficult to beat. Number five, Sir John, not fancy against these, while well, number six, the horse with the back class that's one of a kind and if the right one of a kind turn up we'll have a fighting chance i'm expecting one of a kind to run a good race come tomorrow afternoon but for me i'm taking number four burn notice to get the better of number six one of a kind and number two regal and royal 
The third event they go six furlong with strict allowance two for native bred three year old, none of two and imported three year old and up maiden. And we have six declare and they go six furlongs. That is race number three. Pineapple Man was second, running on and last over six and a half furlongs. This horse is by Palis Malice by Ayoko Zuna Mir. This horse has been working very well, and I expect in Pineapple Man Pineapple to make no mistake come tomorrow afternoon. Number five, Titan Tempers by Maximum Mischief by Star of Johar by Johar. This horse is well bred and must be kept on the right side, and he's my danger to number six, Pineapple. My third choice is the local bread, Bold Move. Bold Move has been working very well for this race here. Keep Bold Move on the right side. He's the best of the other bunch, in my opinion. But for me, I'm taking number six, Pineapple, to get the better of number five, Titan Tempo, and number one, Bold Move. The fourth event is restricted state for imported three year old and up, none is of three and native bred three year old and four year old, none is of four. And we have seven declared this is the start of the Twilight Six. Also, ever beat Commander Z will win this race. Commander Z was beaten out of it by Kokomo on last year, second after missing the break here by a length and a half here. The blinkers is on, is sharper. He has been working very well on the exercise track. Commander Z should make no mistake come tomorrow afternoon. Magnificent one should chase him home for most of the way in the stretch while the local bred here, she's that girl is unbeaten out of two start. And this horse ran six furlongs in one minute 13 and two fifths of a second. Seems to be of ability. We have to keep this horse on the right side. One minute 13 and two fifths of a second is nothing to scoff about here. So she's that girl is of ability. Keep the she's that girl on the right side. But for me, Commander Z, to make no mistake, come tomorrow afternoon to get the better of number three, Magnificent Force, and number seven, that's she's that girl the fourth event they go five furlong straight is restricted allowance four for native bread five year one and up numbers of three and imported five year one and up numbers of two and we have seven declare number one best daughter-in-law not fancied against these number two the gifted one is playing with unsoundness not fancied along in this company number three Ava Jalen has one out of a straight on on around two occasion and will enjoy this um this five furlong straight radish roman is in the irons keep Ava Jalen on the right side number four muzo i think the horse they will all have to be has played with a bit of unsoundness here but has been well tuned to the minute by his trainer spencer chung this horse loves the straight the last time this horse won out of the straight was November of last year. Finish up in one minute and four fifth of a second. This buzzer is by survey stamp by Saint Cecilia by Burning Mark. This horse is well bred. Number five potential. I'm expecting potential to put in a capital effort come tomorrow afternoon. And if they go too fast too early, look no further than potential in this event. Number six anchorman went out of the street but was disqualified. Came back quite um a couple of days after and showing a clunker. Yeah, I think maybe he came back a bit too quick after his last run has been rested up by the trainer has been tuned to the minute keep anchorman on the right side Tevin foster stick with the ride number seven the, eight, the five straight specialist that special gift will be there about at the business end has possesses tactical speed keep special gift on the right side tap it good i think we'll need more time but for me, I'm taking number four muscle to get the better of number seven special gift. My third choice is number three, Ava Jalen, and my fourth choice is number five, Potential. The sixth event, they go, six and a half furlongs is the Henry George Harrison Senior Memorial Cup. The strict to the allowance five for native bread, four year one and up, numbers of two and imported four year one and up maiden, and we have 11 declare. They go six and a half furlongs. Number one, Edgecraft, Shane Ellis in the saddle coming from the number one jaw. This horse is so fit 
we have to keep this horse on the right side. Six and a half furlongs could be the doctor's orders. Ed's craft will be bang there when this is being decided. Sugar, 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 not fancy. Stretching out over six and a half furlong along with Mr. Wonder. Wonderful. Number four, Joe Blaine need to be, need to get fitter. Number five, to kill a mockingbird has been tuned to the minute by his trainer. Keep to kill a mockingbird on the right side and enjoy the six and a half furlongs here. Kill a mockingbird could be the flying joint men. Show me the butcher some water for this appointment here. And this show me the butcher here is better than his form is led to is we are led to believe. But seems as if show me the butcher is playing with unsoundness. Number seven, bad investment, fifth by five and a half lengths on last band password and sister D will finally will eventually get the pace of this class and will start to pay is due sooner than later number eight crucial alexia this horse is very fit just now on his penultimate event race he was third on the 23rd of may he was third three and a half lengths behind sparkers and may sellington f can reproduce his that form on la on the, the 23rd of may Crucial Alexa will have a glorious chance. Number nine, the controlling speed in the lineup, read my lip, and read my lips could set off in front and prove very difficult to beat. DC, read my lip here on, on last was fifth by nine and a quarter length, over six furlong, show that run through the window. Read my lip will have a fighting chance. Number 10, Dream Warrior, if come away keenly from the gate, will have a chance in this type of event here, but is um is plagued with issues here he like to whip around at the starting gate so if he comes up way cleanly he will have a fighting chance but for me i'm taking number nine read my lips to get the better of number one that is hedgecraft my third choice is number eight crucial alexia and my fourth choice is number five to kill a mocking bird the seventh event is the made a special weight for native bread. Three year old year, they go nine furlongs, then 25 yard. Won't waste much time on this race. Number four, Rakola, to be partnered by Shane Canterman Ellis, is the 10 star banker on the call. Rakola will make short work of this, this race here. And I'm taking number four, Rakola, to get the better of number five, Oil Machine, and number six, Divine Diva. Won't waste much time in this event the eighth event it's the overnight allowance for three year old and up and they go nine furlongs and 25 yards nine declare number one the ed cornerstone ran a good race band reading buzz fun can done and ability keep at the ed cornerstone on the right side this horse could be the flying, the ointment. Number two, stomp the rhythm and enjoy this nine furlongs and 25 yard. Is getting fitter and fitter with races. And stomp the rhythm now. Yeah, we'll have a glorious chance. Number three, power from above is up in grade. I will have to giddy up to win this event. While number four, near star, 57 kilo won't hamper near star. This horse is a very good horse here. Keep near star on the right side. Number five, Provocativa, will have it difficult over this trip in this company here, not fancy there. Number six, Sunset Silhouette, if judiciously ridden with a mere 48.5 kilo, and Abigail Aber, Sunset Silhouette could have an outside chance. The horse they'll have to beat is number seven, Sistine Treasure. 54 kilo, Robert Aladdin is in the irons here. I am expecting Sistine Treasure to win this event. Number eight, Rins Villas lost its form, not fancied, along with number nine, Positive ID. This race is a very, very competitive race, but number seven, Sistine Treasure, get the nod to get the better of number four, that that is Neostar. My third choice is number two, Stump the Rhythm, and my fourth choice, the dangerous, the Ed Cornerstone. Keep the Ed Cornerstone on the right side. The ninth and final event on the nine race program here, Monday Racing, is restricted allowance three for native bred, four year one and up, non winners of four, and imported four year one and up, 
nominals of three, and we have 10 declared. There go seven furlongs. Number one, wow, how will be closing in deep stretch. Keep wow, how on the right side. If they go too fast, too early, yeah, this wow, how over six by six and a half lengths be an easy as easy as ABC and Monomizer. If can reproduces that run, this Monomizer will have a fighting chance. And please, I mean, wow, how will have a fighting chance. Um, please make note, Wow Wow is now taking orders from Well Suta. Number two, Brown Skin Girl, not fancy the air. Number three, California Gold with Runners on his race. Number four, that's Loyal Action, not fancy. Number five, Awesome Anthony. Please make note, the tongue ties off, so Awesome and Anthony is coming to run. A better race come tomorrow afternoon. Very fit. Yeah, this awesome. Awesome Anthony won the trip in a good time of 1 minute 28 seconds flat. So getting the distance of 7 furlong won't be an issue for Awesome Anthony. Number 6, Super Alex is up in class. We need to giddy up to win this race along with number 7, Nova Attitude. Number 8, Kem, very fit. Fit as Anne can make him and I expect Kem to set off in front and prove very elusive. Come tomorrow, he could do just that come tomorrow. The horse they will all have to be, though, is number nine, Major Danger. And Major Danger coming off a rest here and was second beaten at three lengths by Money Market over five and a half furlongs. He has stretched out now to seven furlongs. This is what the doctor's orders. Major Danger will be there and will be very difficult to beat. With kid, we'll have it all to do against these. And I'm taking number nine, Major Danger, to get the better of the very fit and vastly improved Kem. Number five, that is awesome, Anthony, is my third choice, and my fourth choice is number three, California Gold. So there we have it, racing fans, race the preview. I look at the... Nine race car for Monday, tomorrow Monday, the 8th of July, 2024. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Yard TV. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped, you will be notified. And please remember to like and share, like and share this YouTube channel. Let us go over the selection. In the first event, we are taking 9, 6, 1, and 7. In the second race, we are taking 4, 6, and 2. The third race, we are taking number 6, 5, and 1. In the fourth race, we are taking 2, 3, and 7. In the fifth race, we are taking 4, 7, 3, and 5. In the sixth race, we are taking 9, 1, 8, and 5. In the seventh race, we are taking 4, 5, and 6. In the eighth and penultimate race, we are taking 7, 4, 2, and 1. And in the ninth and final event, we are taking 9, 8, 5, and 3. So there we have it, racing fans, race the preview. Please remember now to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, ERB TV. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped, you will be notified. And please remember to like and share. Like and share this YouTube channel. Have a wonderful evening now. This is Anthony Johnson for Race Day Preview. Best of luck now and happy hunting.